One week, five days, six weeks, one year. In today's video, how long should your dieting period be? Dieting is not something your body wants to do naturally, so it does take a lot of effort. And anything that takes a lot of effort by nature requires a break because it causes fatigue. For example, if I ask you to go top speed and sprint as fast as you can, you'll probably go a few seconds and stop. If I ask you to jog, you'll probably go a few minutes, maybe an hour, and then stop. But if I ask you to walk, you can probably go for an hour or even more before you need to stop. So basically, the intensity determines how fatiguing or tiring an activity or event is. And diet fatigue is a real thing. Some of its symptoms are that you're always hungry, you're always exhausted, you're ravenously hungry. No matter how big a meal you eat, you just don't feel full and you're always thinking about food. So if you've been on a diet and you're getting these symptoms, you've probably hit diet fatigue. And diet fatigue can be influenced by a number of factors, such as how large is your deficit? How long have you been dieting for? How hard is your training? How low is your body fat percentage? Or even something such as how challenging is your life in general? Are you dealing with something stressful outside of your diet and training? So you can probably diet for anything from one week all the way up to 12 weeks, depending on the intensity of all of these factors that I just stated. But generally, for most people, on an average, six weeks is a great enough time to be in a big enough deficit and also not feel too much fatigue. After six weeks, I generally recommend a diet break. And I'll be making a separate video to explain diet breaks, how they should be done, how long they should be, but that's for later. For now, I want you to just keep in mind that weight loss is never linear. It never goes down in a straight line. It's always cyclical. So you go up, you come down, then take a break, maintain, then go down again, take a break, maybe gain a little more, and then come back down. So I hope you liked that video, guys. If you did, leave me one of these. Hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section what you would want to see next or whether or not you like this video. Because the more you comment, the better it is for YouTube to push out this video. YouTube sees that this video is actually informational. It's not nonsense like some of the crap out there. It's good information and it pushes it out to more people. So please help me out with that one and I will see you in the next video.